Yo, what is going on guys? Back again. Um, for, any, for you guys that watched my previous video of the unboxing of the NMDR1 Prime Knits in the Tricolo pack from the Tricolo pack, um, you would have heard me say in that video that obviously I'd already started a custom on these to remove the stripes. Uh, I put a picture of this up on Instagram uh, and I've had literally loads and loads and loads of people sending me inbox messages uh, asking how I did this. So what I've told everyone is I'm going to do a video to show you how I've removed the stripes without leaving any glue residue and things. Um, and I'm going to record that and I'm going to post it on my YouTube. So I'd already started removing these uh, when I decided obviously I wanted to do the unboxing. So I only did one just to test it and then I've left it. I've done the unboxing video. That's now finished. So I'm going to go straight on now uh, into this video to show you how to remove this. Um, and then hopefully you guys can have a go at it yourselves. And hopefully things work out good for you. Um, but without much further ado, I'll get straight into this video. So a couple of things that you're going to need for this. Um, I'll put a picture of the um, accessories you'll need right now. And then I'll quickly talk you through. So we need some cotton buds. Which is just these... Uh, What do you guys call these in America? Um, my mind's gone blank. Uh, I can't remember what you guys call these over in America, but whatever it is, it's just like this uh, little plastic stick with the two pieces of uh, cotton wool on either either side. So we're going to need a couple of those. Um, we're going to need a craft knife or a little uh, scalpel. Focus is not very well here, it's focusing on my face. Um, but we need a craft knife, possibly a pair of tweezers for grabbing the stripes afterwards, and then the most important and crucial ingredient. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing this where they've um, heated the stripes up using a heat gun or a hairdryer and then peeled the stripe off, but it melts the glue. So when you peel the stripe off, the glue's left underneath, and then you're still stuck with all the sticky residue that you've got to get off somehow. My method takes the stripes straight off without leaving any residue at all. And the ingredient to do so is this one. It's the Angelus Leather Preparer and Deglazer. Um, I'm running low on this, but I've got enough to, to do this video. But it's really simple. Um, be careful when you're um, you know, uh, sniffing this because it's quite... Uh, it gets you pretty high. It's like nail polish remover. I mean, to be fair, I've not tried it with nail polish remover, but you probably can remove the stripes with nail polish remover. But basically, all you need is some sort of like solvent uh, like this, which will remove, melt, basically it melts the glue and removes the glue, rather than something that just heats the glue up and leaves it in place to remove, which is where people are going wrong. Um, but this is a really, really effective tool um, for getting them off clean. So I'm gonna get straight into the video. Let me reposition you guys. Okay, so first things first, let me just uh, get these uh, tags out of the way. So we don't need those for this video. We'll get a cotton swab, cotton bud, as we call them here in the UK. I'm just going to take the cotton bud, place it into. Um, Place it into the uh, deglazer. Get the end all wet. And you have to be quite quick with this because uh, it actually evaporates really quickly off the end of the cotton swab. But as soon as you've got it, literally start uh, rubbing it across the top of the stripe. Might take a couple of uh, couple of attempts to get it going. As I say, this stuff does evaporate away really quickly, but uh, get it in there, and eventually, what will happen is the glue beneath will start to melt. Yeah, it's starting to go now. Uh, 
and when it does the stripe if you guys can see that the stripe itself will begin to peel away from the shoe as I say it does evaporate off of the cotton bud really quick so you have to like literally just keep reapplying it um, but once you've got the stripe to start coming away just get the cotton bud under rub across uh, in motions you know straight across the stripe from edge to edge and the stripe just starts peeling away So almost run across the uh, stripe in almost like a soaring pattern, I guess, soaring motion side to side. Um, you do, and uh, yeah, uh, you know, I will tell you, you do need to reapply this literally every sort of like um, stroke um, because it evaporates off the cotton bud very, very, very quickly. Keep going until you get all the way down to the bottom. And then keep going even more. So this is the awkward part. What you want to do is you want to uh, keep pushing the uh, um, material down inside where the uh, the stripe actually meets the prime knit. And you can keep this, the stripe actually goes all the way under the prime knit. So what you can do what you want to do is keep pushing it down and it will seem like you're forming a bit of a hole um, as if you're trying to sort of like burrow under the prime knit and that's exactly what you want um, you want to get this quite deep under the prime knit so that the uh, once you cut the stripe off you don't see any of the remin uh, remnants sticking up from it um, but we'll go through that once we get the stripe off so once you've gone under and you think you've gone under far enough um, 
like I say, you, you can almost push the cotton uh, cotton bud in and under the prime knit itself. What you want to do then is separate the actual front of the stripe uh, from the EVA block here. Um, I keep swiping this off the table because I did just spill some, but uh, it's the same again, just literally uh, rub along the front of the stripe and eventually the glue that's holding the uh, stripe on uh, will melt out of the way. Um, and just push straight off of the EVA insert. Um, this this particular pair is actually proving a lot, to, a lot more difficult than it was on the other side. Um, the stripes on the other side, the, the first test batch I did, literally it took me a couple of minutes to uh, to remove all three stripes. And I only went through one cotton bud. This is my third cotton bud now and I've not even done one stripe yet. Um, but I mean it's not too difficult. Uh, certainly not hard custom to uh, to achieve yourself. There we go, it's uh, finally started to, to give in now. Um, again as I said um, <clears throat> on the stripe on the on the previous side of the stripe where you want to sort of like go as if you're trying to burrow under uh, you want to do the exact same thing let me see if I can show you you want to do the exact same thing on this side see if I can get it to focus in but you see where the stripes separate away from the EVA plug well, you want to get that as deep as possible so that when you cut the stripe off um, beneath the EVA plug you're not going to see any of the remnants sticking up from it because it's going to look like a bit of a shitty terrible custom if there's no stripes but you can see the uh, blue, uh, black and red bits sticking up where the stripes used to be so once you've got uh, deep enough under what you then do is uh, take your scalpel or your craft knife I like to push the prime knit down pull the stripe away from the shoe and then get the scalpel in and sort of like cut from the inside cutting against the EVA not against the prime knit Eventually the stripe comes off, um, get a bit more uh, glue in here just to sort of like, uh, sorry, solvent in there just to remove a little bit of the, uh, the glue residue that's in there. Then take the tweezers, Stick the tweezers down in and you can sort of like, there's, you'll see that there's a couple of bits of uh, glue that solidify a little bit um, that are just sort of like sticking around the opening so you can, with your tweezers, just stick the tweezers in, um, grab any of those remnants of the glue that are going to be uh, sticking out and on show and looking horrible and, and shitty um, and you can pull those straight out. They, they tend to come straight off, it's not uh, not usually an issue.
and this you, you can I don't know if you can see these here but you see uh, these little bits these are little remnants of the blue that I was just telling you about um, so just get those out of the way and then obviously this is what you're left with so you'll see there's no glue on the prime loop whatsoever um, and you can't see that stripe sticking up above um, the plug at all now I'll show you on the other side what you do end up with um, unfortunately is because let me remove the uh, shoe tree what you do end up with because I tell you um, on this method to go deep to remove the uh, stripes you end up with these three holes so you end up with one there one there and then one just up here um, on the EVA plug now obviously those holes are where the the stripe actually goes under the prime knit so what I'll do is uh, once I've got all the stripes off and the customs f finished <coughs> I'll get some fabric glue which do have some but I forgot to get it out here now um, pull these holes back put a, a couple of drops of uh, fabric glue down into the hole itself put my hand into the prime knit push the prime knit into the boost like push it push it forward um, just where it uh, needs to be glued on hold it there for a couple of seconds let the uh, glue set and then boom the holes will be gone so that's uh, that's my video guys on how to remove the stripes from the uh, NMD Prime Knit Tricolor pack uh, I'm going to leave the video uh, for now I'm just uh, quickly zoom through it um, and then I'll return just to show you the overall finished product. Thanks for watching. Um, see you in a sec. Yo, right guys, so I'm back. Um, the shoes are finished, the stripes are off, the stripes are all gone. Um, I've um, sealed up all the holes. This shoe tree. Okay, so as I shown you earlier in the video, uh, down the edges where all the holes were, um, where obviously the stripes went under, and, and obviously I've cut the stripes out. Um, you can see there. Let me pull this uh, net. You can see there that all the holes have gone. They've all been sealed up. All the holes are gone. Uh, there was one here. Um, there was one there. Um, and then there was the the third one was uh, was there but what I did is I, I put a drop of glue in there just use this stuff here on block that will literally stick anything if I put that on my back and pushed up against the wall I'd be on the wall for weeks um, but put a couple of drops down each hole and then I put my th uh, finger inside the shoe itself push down on the um, the knit held it in place for a second and uh, and now the hole is is all sealed up sealed up on all sides there is no holes anywhere on the shoe um, right now same on this shoe and same on this shoe so this shoe these these shoes now are literally um, good enough to wear as I say they look like a, a glitch camo pack um, let me stick this back in and I'll quickly bring you around here a second um, get that for a tripod two boxes stripes are all gone um, it is basically just a glitch camo pack now So thanks for watching guys, hope you um, all appreciate this video and uh, I'd like to, you know, drop me a, a comment in the box below, I'd like a couple of you guys to give this a go as well if you're interested. Um, do a video, let me know how it goes, link it in, my, uh, link it in the comment box below and I'll uh, jump across and watch your videos as well, hopefully yours turn out uh, decent too. Um, as always guys, appreciate you watching. Um, if you don't already, go across and uh, check me out on uh, Instagram at kicks and uh, sorry kicks underscore and underscore caffeine with a K. Um, you'll get to see some on foot um, pics of these plus much much more. Um, hit the subscribe, hit the like button, 
and I will see you guys again soon. Peace.